They have not actually broken ground and started building the dental school building yet at this school. <laughs> What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a while back, I made a video on my channel about the new dental school, High Point University Workman School of Dental Medicine. And now's the time. It's officially May and they are officially accepting applications for their inaugural class, which will be the class of 2028. Before we get into the rest of the video, if you're new to the channel, my name's Eli and I'm a second year dental student at Boston University. On this channel, I make dental school vlogs as well as videos with advice for pre-dental students. So if that's something that interests you, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the channel with anyone else who might find it interesting, like the video, comment on the video, etc., etc. Now let's get into the video. So for those of you who are subscribed to the channel or have been around for a while or have been keeping up with the topic surrounding this new dental school, High Point University Workman School of Dental Medicine, you may or may not have seen the part one I made where I basically introduced this new dental school to a lot of people who may have never heard of it before. And the video got a lot of views and there were a lot of different think, think pieces and people commenting in the comments section about what they think about the new dental school etc. I felt the need to come back and make another video about this school because there are a lot of pre-dental students that follow my channel that are looking for dental schools or looking for how to get into dental school and I feel like it's only right that I bring this information to pre-dents because I started the whole channel to give out information that is kind of hard to find if you don't know about it. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to repeat everything that I said in the first video. You can take the time to go watch that either now and come back to this video or just watch this video and then go watch it after. However, since I already made a video surrounding all that stuff, I'll let you guys just go there to catch up on things. So this video that I'm making today is going to focus a lot more on the topic of how to apply to this school, the requirements, and something new that I learned about, which was their early commitment option. So if you see me looking down at my laptop, that's just because I wrote some notes while I was perusing the website. I want to make sure that I tell you all everything that I intend to, uh, but of course I didn't commit this stuff to memory as I have plenty of things to memorize and my own school to worry about. I'm going to talk about basically all things that I didn't talk about in the first video unless it's extremely important as context. As I was looking at the website in the last few weeks, I learned even more information than I even gave out in the first video. So number one, and this is probably the only thing that I'll repeat from the first video, is that there are no required prerequisite courses and there's no required standardized testing. So you don't necessarily have to have completed your undergraduate degree. You don't have to take the DAT or submit a DAT score. Um, I'm sure that they would like to see uh, science courses taken at an undergraduate level, etc. But say you missed a class like psychology or biochemistry or something um, because you weren't a science major or whatever it may be, um, that will not be a barrier of entry for you of getting into this dental school. So that's a positive and I spoke on some other positive things in the last video that of course are just my opinion and as I saw from the comments there are a lot of people that share my opinion and there are a lot of people that don't which is fine. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. All I ask is if you are going to comment talking about the caliber of this school, this school in itself, or the students that choose to attend this school or take this route, there's no need to make nasty comments or be mean or try to put people down. Just understand that this school is allowing a way for people to achieve their dream profession without jumping through all the loops and hurdles that I did or people that attended dental school before I did. And I want us to adapt from this mindset of like, just because I suffered mean the next person has to, or we did this, so they're fine doing this. Times are meant to change, things are meant to evolve. We're in a new day and age. Just because a school is not requiring a DAT doesn't mean they're tailoring to the handout generation or that everybody gets a trophy generation. I saw that comment a few times in the first video and I found it interesting because it's just like, I don't know, people want to blame something on that all the time. And honestly, that's just your perspective. So, other important things to note about High Point University Workman School of Dental Medicine. There's no application fee. As we all talked about on my channel before, 
as you may know when I talked about in my scholarship video. Applying to dental school is expensive. It's very expensive. If you're applying to 10 schools, you're looking at upwards of $2,500 for your applications. And it sounds normal to me, but that shouldn't be normal. And I think that this school taking a different route with regards to the application fees is, you know, interesting. Um, now, there's an early commitment option. So, whew, I, f I don't feel ancient, but I applied to college a long time ago. When I was applying to college, you had so many different options. I want to say there was a, you know, regular decision application. There was early commitment and there was early action. High Point is offering an early commitment option where you can basically commit to going to the school if you get in and get priority evaluation over other applicants, priority interviews, and you can also get priority admissions offers. Now, the last important thing to note about this school is that they are on a rolling admissions. Now, technically, the ADSAS is on a rolling admissions as well, but they can start at a specific date, which is usually around December 15th now, it used to be like December 1st. High Point says that you can get your acceptance as early as two weeks after your interview. Now, if they're operating on the same schedule as regular dental schools, which it seems like they are because their application opened on May 1st, just like the ADSAS, that means that they're probably going to be interviewing students starting as early as September. You can find out if you're going to be a part of the next dental school class as early as late September or early October if you decide to do the early commitment option at High Point. That's very different. That's interesting to hear. I really don't have any true opinion on it because I'm not applying to dental school ever again. But it's just interesting to know like, you know, what how they're going about being a new dental school while also trying to change the perspective of what it takes to be a dentist, change the requirements of what it takes to get into dental school, etc. So other important things to mention, um, they are currently still under their accreditation process, meaning if their school is not accredited or accredited, <laughs> grammar police, I'm sorry, I don't know. Look, if that does not go through before the class can start, they may have to push their starting class back another year. Who knows? Um, I don't really quite know how that works, but I assume that kind of sucks for people that decide to do the early commitment. So that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about applying to this school. Um, other things that I learned that I saw from looking at the frequently asked questions portion of their website. Now, I don't know if I just ignored this portion of their website the last time that I was on there or if it's new because back then it was new and over this nine months since I made the last video, there's been time for people to start asking questions. Um, but some of the important things to note are the class size is currently set at 60 students, which is pretty much a small dental school. I think that's like around the size of the class size at UConn. At my school, Boston University, our class size is 115 to start off, which is medium size. And you have some very large schools with 200 to 250 people in a class. Tuition. The tuition is set to be between 83 to $88,000 per year. And since it is a private school, it will be the same whether you're in state or out of state. That's basically right on par with my dental school. When I started here, it was $85,000 a year and it's now up to $91,000 a year. And since my school is private, it's the same way. You are the same price whether you're in state or out of state. Now here's one thing that I did not know, which is interesting. I'm not gonna lie, like me personally, I would feel some kind of way about this, but again, this is just my opinion. They have not actually broken ground and started building the dental school building yet at this school. On their website, they're currently saying, if you are starting in the new class, you're gonna be taking your first year classes at a different location while they're building the dental school. I appreciate the honesty in that they're upfront with that information, but when you're talking about being a part of the first class at a new dental school, you're not even gonna be at the dental school yet. So. I don't know, that's interesting. There are new dental schools popping up every year, every five to 10 years, whatever it may be. I don't know if any, any other ones do it that way, but uh, it's interesting. It's definitely interesting. So all I wanted to do was make this video and kind of disseminate more information about this school as I did in the first one. 
I want to know you guys' thoughts now that you know this new information, especially if you're someone that watched and commented under the first video. Has your perspective changed about this dental school? Um, me personally, a little bit. When I made the first video, I was like, I like what they're doing. I, I, I don't really feel any kind of way about knowing that there's going to be other dentists in the world that didn't take the DAT because if we're being quite honest, that test doesn't matter that much. Opinion? Opinion. Did it change your perspective at all? Did you hate it before and you still hate it now? Did you love it before you still love it now? Leave a comment if it had any type of sway in your decision to apply or change your perspective or opinion about the school. And uh, we can start another healthy discussion in the comment section of this video. Anyway, that's all I have for today. I don't want to make this video extremely long, but I did feel the need to come back and disseminate more information. Stick around on the channel if you want to see more videos, more dental school vlogs, if you want to see my countdown to my white coat series that I'm doing currently, anything like that. Other than that, I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.